Well, I was going to redo my antenna setup um, and make it taller and everything, but as of lately, the wind knocked it down. And since this is not a terribly windy day, and it's not uh, too bad, I'm going to go ahead and fix it. Uh, one of the antennas looked damaged, so I have to bring down all of it. And uh, I'm kind of going to start over. I have a new antenna, and a tripod, new cable, and a mast pipe, and various other parts that I'm going to relocate, like my amplifier. I'm going to relocate. Uh, I'm going to replace the splitter to combine the two signals. I'm going to replace the matching transformers with the same type, good high quality uh, matching transformers. And I brought this along just in case. I'll take this up there just in case. I don't think it works very well. Uh, it, it should. The last time I tried it out it didn't work too well. I also bought stuff for grounding. So I'm going to ground the, uh, the whole thing since it's going to be going higher off of the house. And I got my, I got some new compression stuff. I already had the tool set to do compression. I just didn't have any ends. Um, I made sure I got the right ones for RG6 so that way it works better. I was using ones that weren't meant for a 6 when I was crimping before. It was really hard to crimp them on. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go up there and grab that antenna and bring it down and see what I could salvage out of those two antennas. Because I still want two antennas on my house. But uh, one of them looks pretty banged up. Looks like the bottom one's pretty banged up. The top one looks okay. And from that, from your point of view and my point of view, the top one would be the first one and the bottom one would be the second one, obviously. But... Uh, yeah, I see it's missing one of the things. You can't really make it out on the on the video uh, because of the tree behind it and the in the front of the house rather. But uh, let me go up there and get that down and see what I have. Well, as you can see from this angle, it's pretty messed up. So. I'm going to decided to work from the roof since I know this is pretty angled here. This over here is pretty flat. I'm going to pull it off. I've already picked a spot for it right there. Looks like it'll work pretty good. And it's pretty clear of the trees. I mean, there's some that way, a lot that way, and that way, but it looks, looks pretty good. Ooh. Not gonna lie, it's cold up here. The wind is pretty steady at this height. So, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and bring it over here and start working on it. Well, the new antenna is up. I couldn't finish the video last night, it got dark. So, here it is on the tripod up in the air so X plus 15 feet X is the house height here's one of the old antennas I didn't actually mount both antennas the other one is uh, wasn't finished assembling it by the time it got dark so I just ran the cable off the edge and put that one up and uh, I didn't have any cable ties with me, so I just wrapped the coax around there and left myself a little excess before tossing the spool off the edge of the house, which is quite high up. And I'll, I'm gonna get back so you can get a better view of it. It was right here, if you remember mentioned. Well, there's the new one down there on the deck that I didn't install. It's still not completely assembled, but
So I ran that down, ran it in to where it was being distributed, and ended up with 53 channels with only the distribution block that uh, applies a 4 uh, dB gain uh, output to each television. And uh, I found that very interesting that I only have a 4 dB gain and I gained uh, with the antenna position I gained uh, almost uh, 15 channels about that. I went from 38 to uh, to 50 some channels like I said. I'm a little nervous. I'm on the roof and I'm going to climb down. Getting on the roof does make me a little nervous but I do it. I can handle it. So I'm going to transition to the deck and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that I'm down off of the roof, put the old antenna where I can grab it, which is right there. So, here's the new one. There's a couple reasons I didn't finish the installation of this antenna. One is it has two places to connect. It looks like it has two places to connect a... Uh, matching transformer right there and right there and I was a little bit confused about that about where you connect it unless it's just you use one of them the one that's more convenient I'm not entirely sure where to connect it though uh, it kind of threw me off so I think you're supposed to connect it there, but I'm not sure. Um, if anybody has any comments on where the connection is to be made, whether it's there or there, that would be great. But it did throw me off. Not to mention, these all have element extensions that I didn't install. Uh, that are still in the box and uh, I want to install the element in extensions uh, before installing the antenna and what I'll probably end up doing is pointing it north uh, northeast or north northeast um, or whichever way the signal finder is the strongest it's in the north direction Right now, I've got the uh, other antenna pointed in the uh, in a south to southeast direction, and uh, this is a very nice antenna, you know. But it's funny that the original antenna, the one that's been on the roof since before I moved in, I can only imagine it's like a 30 or 40 year old antenna, picking up 53 channels. Uh, with with no amplification I'd love to get a preamp and an LTE filter uh, installed to see how well uh, how well it does with uh, filtering out uh, cell signals and stuff like that so you know this is a very nice antenna I'm gonna leave it out here it's it's not like it's going to hurt it to be left outside. I am going to put it over here though. Just going to leave it right there. There's a shot of the whole antenna. Get a shot of the whole antenna. I don't know. Maybe if I do that. There we go. So. It's pretty big. I think the original is a little bigger. Like I said, the one thing that confuses me is, is the two places to hook it up. There and there. And I'm not sure which one's right. I think it's this one right there. But I'm not entirely sure.
So the other one might be for FM. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. If it is, that's great because I'd love to run a antenna feed into the house for the basement at least. Um, and maybe perhaps my old Zenith radio in the garage does pick up pretty good stuff. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of interference and it's old radio. It should be tuned by a professional. But uh, that would be pretty cool to pick up FM from further away, get a few different stations. Uh, well, anyway, like I said, I get I got a lot of stations now with the one antenna, no amps. Well, 4 dB uh, distribution block. I really don't count that as too much of a of an amplifier. You know, most of them are like 15 dB, 30 dB gain amps, uh, preamps, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd love, in the summer, I'm going to go back up there, um, and, like, I don't want to do it now, I, I want to wait, it's pretty cold out here, I wanted to run up there and grab the old antenna, and, uh, my F connectors, which I dropped on the roof when it was dark, and I couldn't see, uh, lucky I took two packs up there with me. But uh, this is um, this is this is the new antenna. I might fold it up and put it back in the box, or just leave it right here. It's an all it's it's an outdoor antenna. What's what's going to hurt to sit on the deck? I mean, it's sitting on the deck, or it could be on a pole on the roof. You know, about 30 feet in the air. I don't think it's any different. But uh, I can't wait to see what comments you guys post about my uh, about my setup.